Hi everybody, it's Jill here again with Mommy Vignettes and I promised to do a video on my breast pump. It was in my last video on the five um, must-haves for every new mom, but there was too much. I didn't have enough time to go through everything with the breast pump. So I'm going to do a product review on my breast pump and reasons why I think every new mom needs a breast pump. So I'll just give you a little bit of background with my experience breastfeeding. So I did breastfeed my daughter um, even past her first birthday. So um, I was very successful at nursing her. And um, being a labor and delivery nurse and having experience working in the nursery with newborns almost on a daily basis, I know, um, and you have I mean, and you know too that breastfeeding is by far the best thing we can do for our newborns. So, and it is a choice for every mom to make. So I know that there are some moms out there who can't breastfeed or decide not to, and that's their choice. And there are lots of different options out there for them. So, um, but I'm just gonna go through um, the reasons why I think every new mom needs a breast pump. So if you're going to go be going back to work, even if it's just part-time or a little bit, you need a breast pump, that's a must. So I had 12 weeks of maternity, and then I went back to working part-time. And so when I was at work, I needed to pump to keep my milk supply up. And then I also would pump so that I could have milk at home for my husband to feed to my daughter when she you know, was awake and needed to be fed while I was at work. So that made me feel better that when I wasn't home, she was at least getting my milk. The other reason you need a breast pump, even if you aren't going back to work or um, you know, if you're going to be with your child most of the time and you can be with them, you know, to nurse all the time. One problem with that is that at the beginning, when your milk comes in, a lot of times women get engorged either on both sides or one side. And a breast pump really helps to relieve some of that um, engorgement and so that your baby can latch on. So I had some problems getting my baby to latch on in the first couple of weeks. And so when my milk came in, we had to have my husband go get my breast pump. We didn't have it before. We didn't had purchased it yet before my daughter was born. So we went and got it um, and it really helped to kind of relieve some of that engorgement so my daughter could latch on. Um, the other thing too is that if you have to supplement your baby, if your baby is small or not getting enough to eat just from your milk alone, which was the case with my little girl, um, you know, I had to pump to give her additional milk. So I would nurse her and then give her some of my milk through a bottle. So that also made me feel a lot better. So everything she was getting was from me, um, which was great. So a breast pump is an absolute must and you don't have to spend a ton of money on them. So that's the other thing as well. Breast pumps are, they can be an investment. Um, and the breast pump we have is called an Avent brand. It's the Avent Duo breast pump so it comes with two attachments so that you can pump both sides at the same time which is also I think a must-have you can buy just simply manual breast pumps where they're not electric and you just manually pump it and those honestly take forever so if you're going to invest some money in a breast pump you might as well get an electric one so this is an Avent brand and we got this from Babies R Us and this retails around $250 which is quite an investment. However, the key to buying a breast pump is to watch out for deals. We actually got ours for about 150, so we saved $100, which was huge for us by just waiting for a sale to come or getting it when there was a sale going on using a coupon. I think we had like a 20% coupon. And then we also had used some money that we had um, through Babies R Us through our registry. So we'd get, received some gifts that we didn't need. We returned them to Babies R Us and we had some credit left over. So that really helps. So we really didn't really have to spend much of our own money. I think less than $50 of our own money um, on the breast pump, which was great. So you've probably heard of the Medela brand, which is really popular. Most hospitals use the Medela brand. The hospital I work at does. And that's a great brand. That's usually one of the top um, or most expensive brands though. So when we have the Avent, it was less expensive and I'm all about saving money. And this has worked fabulous for me. Um, so I would definitely recommend the Avent brand. So anyways it, anyways, it works great. It comes in this nice black bag, which is awesome. So you can carry it around and you don't have to worry, um, you know, that people know that you're carrying a big breast pump around. Um, there's plenty of room inside for tons of extra storage. So you can put, you know, this could be your purse or if you go to work, it could hold all of your wallets and your items and your sunglasses and those kinds of things. I um, mean, it can also, you know, store your milk when you're done pumping till you get back to a refrigerator. Anyway, so there's the attachments here. These just come off and you attach it on here. And then we also have the Avent bottles that just simply 
screw onto the pump here. And each pump has a little sil silicone part that just is, goes right in the dishwasher. All the pieces are really easy to put together. They're all dishwasher safe. It works fabulous and it's really nice um, and comfortable to use. So you just slide it on, you turn it on, you plug it in, and then you get you start pumping. You're gonna pump, pump slower at first and then once your milk starts flowing, it's going to um, kind of do slower, more rhythmic pumps that would that mimics the uh, baby's natural um, sucking motion. So, you know, it didn't take very long. I could pump for about 10 minutes um, and get quite a bit of milk out. Dep it depends on your milk supply. But what I love is that as soon as you're done pumping, you just unscrew the bottle from the pump. And if you're gonna store it, you just put the lid on and then it's ready to go into the refrigerator or the freezer Whatever, wherever you're gonna put it. And I love that the my breast pump came with a storage bag so I could put my milk bottle in here, carry it and put this in the refrigerator instead of having just this kind of gross looking bottle of breast milk sitting in the staff refrigerator. Or if you're going to immediately give it to your baby to feed or if you've thought it from the freezer or refrigerator and you're going to give it later, again, you just unscrew the top and you can put on your nipple top. So it makes it really easy because you don't have to be transferring the milk back and forth between different containers, which then you would lose some of the milk anyways. Um, so this works out fabulous. That's what we did. And again, I recommend to every mom that you have a breast pump. I know it can be an investment, um, but for us, $150 was definitely worth it. And this will last us through you know several more children. Um, it'll work for us. And then lastly, the other thing that you need to be sure not to do with a breast pump is never buy a used breast pump, okay? So you never want to use a, buy a used breast pump, even if it's really from your friend that you know, that she doesn't have any, you know, communicable diseases or anything. It's just not a good idea to share the same pump and the same tubing um, because they're, you can never get it sterile again. So even though they clean it and wash it, um, you don't want to be sharing, you know, another mom's breast milk with your baby. So that is definitely recommended not to do that. So if you guys have any questions about this specific brand, the Avent brand of breast pump, or if you have a different brand that's worked, um, definitely let me know because this is just what I've used and I would love to know, you know your successful stories for using breast pumps or if you have manual versus electric, if you, if you pumped at work and how that worked out for you. So definitely let me know about that. And if you guys have any other video ideas you'd like me to do, let me know for sure. And lastly, I just want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day and hope you can spend it with your loved ones. Thank you. Bye.